All right, here we are in Sao Paulo, Brazil, our first time in Brazil, and I did not realize how big this city was. At 12 and a half million people or so, it's like fourth or fifth largest city in the world. So first time in Brazil, and we are in the largest city in Brazil, and we are ready to do it. Now, I understand the name of our channel is Jet Lag Warriors, <laughs> but yesterday afternoon when we arrived, we lost the war. Right, the warriors right. were defeated by jet lag. It took us something like 25 or 26 hours of flying and airports and layovers to get here. So yesterday was actually our first day, but we didn't do anything really. So we're calling today our first day. Right. But that being said, it was nice that when we flew here, we were flying with what appeared to be the youth national team, uh, European handball mm -hmm. of Brazil. So we were surrounded by these yellow beautiful jackets and green pants and we talked to some of these local Brazilians and we got some good advice on things to do and most importantly how to stay safe right because our first sort of impressions is there is a bit of a safety concern you can see people all around me you know the vast majority of these people are not interested in robbing us but there is a real homelessness community here in Sao Paulo and so for that reason Ivana and I will sort of change our travel style Right. for Brazil because usually we enjoy wandering and getting <laughs> lost and taking the Google Maps, closing it, putting our pocket and That's just kind right. of freestyling. Uh, this seems to be the wrong approach in Sao Paulo. So for instance, yesterday we were walking in a very pleasant area, all safe and all good. We crossed the street and went through a park mm -hmm. and the park was sort of uh, taken over as a homeless encampment. Yeah, and, and a lot of the tents have like couches. We even saw one with like a Christmas tree. So it seems to be semi-permanent. And my point is, we had no business being there. Yeah. So we will be not wandering, is my point. We can stick to the tourist attractions, because honestly, in the past three years of travel and three years of YouTube, Yvonne and I have met lots of people who are full-time travelers and do videos, and they love Brazil. That's true. So this place is highly recommended, although everyone who recommends it will tell us, you've got to be diligent and be aware and be sort of on the lookout at all times. So for that reason, our travel style will change and also maybe our video style will change. Right. Uh, we have figured out a way to mount the GoPro right here. And so a lot of the footage will just be GoPro. So maybe it could be crooked at some times. Maybe the audio won't be so good. Bear with us as we try to show the tourist uh, impressions and what a tourist could get up to in Brazil um, while still being safe. I think our big camera and external microphone is too <laughs> obvious. That's true. So my All point right. is we should be able to show what uh, tourists can get up to here. And I want to be clear, our excitement for this country is overpowering our nervousness. Mm -hmm. We are a little bit nervous, uh, sort of out of our comfort zone, but so many people have recommended Brazil. And I didn't realize how big this country was. The land area of Brazil is like 85% the land area of the United States. Well, it's it really, really the... big. And so from beaches to mountains to rainforests to big cities, there's so much to do. We should still be here at Carnival, which is pretty amazing. Right. Um, hopefully we can stay safe and really enjoy this place because it's highly recommended. Right. So okay. next stop, we're going to go try to get some lunch, mm -hmm. but we are going to use some GoPro footage and just walk around and just show you what you can see here in Sao Paulo. Uh, not sure what style this vlog will take, sort of new to us, but bear with us as we wander a little bit, sort of staying to the main pedestrian areas and uh, go find some lunch. All right, let's go. Okay, let's go. All right, here we go. Not sure how my voice will sound with the mask on, but here we go. Lots of people around. Yeah, lots of people around. It's like December nine or 10. I will say the weather is nice. That's right. The temperature is Perfect. 20 or 25. And interestingly, Sao Paulo is known as the land or the city of drizzle because it likes to rain for anywhere from six minutes to six hours every day. Right. And it could be a sun shower, it could be rain, and then beautiful day 10 minutes later, but the weather is sort of unpredictable. And to be honest, I feel totally safe right now. Yeah. Right here, I feel safe. Maybe we'll, we'll uh, show you a couple more places, but for instance, this is a beautiful place to hang out. The shop. Really nice. getting together some friends reuniting a bunch of shops over here kind of street stalls 
nothing to worry about. It seems like Brazil might be the tattoo capital of the world. Everyone's got visible tattoos, it seems like. Also interesting to notice that a Brazilian could be any color, every shade, from white to black to any shade in the middle. It would be very hard to pick out a Brazilian from a lineup because it could be anyone, seems like. And as you can see, it's COVID time. Everyone's wearing a mask, even outside. Yeah, everyone is wearing a mask even outside. We're and shocked. honestly, I don't mind wearing the mask yeah. because it makes me a little bit more incognito. So if there's some dangerous, dangerous people around or I'm feeling nervous, I can uh, just Hide kind yourself. of, I feel invisible. Put the mask on and just sort of... Even though you're not. <laughs> even though I'm clearly visible, but it helps me be more confident, you know? See. You blend in more with the locals, you know? Yeah. And so it's funny, it seems like we overstated the uh, danger factor because this looks completely safe. Right. But maybe we can uh, go a little bit off track and show some more places and hopefully we can find some good food. Whether it's traditional Brazilian or just traditional delicious, as we say. <laughs> but hopefully we can find some, uh, some nice food. Oh, yeah. See the police? Nice. Yeah, Keeping everything are... safe. Police presence uh, quiet a lot throughout the city. Yeah, where we in the center at least. Yeah, where we stood and filmed our intro, we stood purposely near some cups. Yeah, some people coming from Jamaica. Some Jamaican, yeah, yeah. This is the Jamaican Bob section. Bob Marley. Oh, seems like there is a. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is very nice. Uh, some sort of. Jamaican or Caribbean theme. Up ahead, we got a really nice looking park. Do you want to go through the park? C, 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 let's go. You say C? What a nice park, no? Really nice park. And uh, I gotta say, this tree is awesome. Oh. Look at this tree. Oh. Very nice. Amazing to think Brazil has tropical weather and no durian. <laughs> I think business opportunity would be bring some durian right. to Brazil, plant the trees. It, one of the best foods you can eat. So I think it would be popular. Well, we come to an area where you see lots of plants here. Yeah. And honestly, our experience so far has been the homeless people uh, don't even look at us. They take no notice of us. Hopefully. That's so, what so it's not like I feel nervous that they're going to try and get me or get us right there in the street. Yeah. But it just feels like a place I have no business being. They don't being. speak English in front of them. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, Imana. Okay, this house. Right here? Yeah, this guy's got a full on uh, apartment style. Carpet and couch. And so there you have it. Sort of interesting that the park just over here has got uh, sort of a homeless encampment. And right out front of it, you've got a nice market. Everything's relatively clean and organized and things for sale. You can buy a coconut. And so it seems like the locals almost don't even notice. Yeah. It's just sort of part. Day, it's fine during the night might be a totally different environment. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, what's really good is we have a friend who is Brazilian and is coming here next week. So he can really help us out. Yeah. Until then, we will be super safe and once the sun goes down, we'll be in the apartment. And what's really nice is our apartment is super safe. Yes. It's got a 24-7 security. security guard at the front door. We're way up in the sky, so there's no window, people sneaking in. Yeah, Seems okay. really, really safe and reliable. And with that, maybe that's enough street walking. I tell you what, it's tiring. Yes. Because you've got to constantly be aware and I'm, I'm so out of my element that it's very tiring. And so uh, even an hour walking or half an hour is enough. Maybe we'll go get some lunch now. Yeah, let's go find something to eat. Next stop, lunch. I mean, it's... it's... I do smell weed in my nose. So someone near us is getting high, but... Anyway, let's go get some.
Oh, the big flag, right? I gotta say, Brazil has a nice flag. I wonder the meaning, because you've got like a uh, yellow diamond. That's true. And then you've got that blue, kind of like Earth almost, like a blue planet. Every, every time I see that flag, it reminds me of like party time for some reason. Brazil's <laughs> flag means party time. Yeah. It reminds me of Carnival, maybe. <laughs> yeah, someone's street performing over here. right come on so in an area like this don't feel dangerous at all yeah this is familiar to to us this is certainly within our comfort zone hey Christmas tree feeling right at home and then uh, right beside the Christmas tree tense community right beside the Christmas tree Sort sort of the story of Sao Paulo so far. Right. Seems to be regular life happening alongside the homelessness. You know, on most streets. Right. They exist together. But during the day, I feel completely safe. Yeah, during the day, I feel totally safe. It would just be so unlikely to get robbed or mugged in front of all of these people. Right. You could make a scene and yell, and it just would be. Yeah, so, to be honest, we're still a little bit nervous bringing our big camera, but yeah. although, even though we're, we feel safe here. It's probably also because this is our like first few days here, second day, so. Yeah, literally our first full day, <laughs> our first full day. Yeah. So, and also everyone that we told we're going to Brazil, they were concerned about safety. Right. So it's sort of just on our minds. Although even the people that really, really recommended Brazil were also concerned about the safety. <laughs> so it seems to be just a, uh, something to overcome, but there's lots to enjoy yeah. about Brazil, providing you can stay cautious yeah. and safe. Man, walking around Sao Paulo, you really get a uh, sense of the fact that there's 12 million people living here because there is this much foot traffic on every street we've been on. Yeah, yeah. Everyone doing their own thing. Lots of shops all around. It's another buffet. They do a lot of self-service. I gotta say, I'm hungry. We should eat soon. <laughs> I guess this is fairly common. You put out these sort of uh, tarps and you sell whatever you got. Whether it's shirts or belts or whatever it might be. You gotta sort of admire and support any sort of entrepreneurship, any sort of attempt to earn money. Because the alternative is just to uh, put up a tent somewhere. I will say this, if you're planning on traveling Brazil, uh, some Portuguese would really help. Because we speak almost no Portuguese and we've had a couple of uh, sign language conversations. Right. Now, when I was in Canada, I did work with tons of Portuguese guys. So I know some, some words. So this is a big cathedral over here. Yeah, then again, you've got this amazing cathedral and a bunch of tents. Let's go check it out. What's kind of nice is, I don't know if you and I necessarily look like 
tourists. Because, because there's such a range of what a Brazilian person could look like, I might look a bit local. You might look a bit like a tourist, to be honest, but we'll see more of that as we go. Oh, look at this. Talk about special. This is a super nice cathedral. Holy jumping. With uh, it's a bit of a tent community sort of beside the cathedral. Yeah, it's, it's so, I'm just so out of my comfort zone. Right. With the, because in Canada, we have such strong social programs that there really isn't a big homelessness problem. That's true. Um, well, it's kind of sad to see, actually. <laughs> yeah, and it seems like it's like a permanent... I mean, there's a lady behind you who's got like a one-year-old baby in a tent. It's really heartbreaking stuff. Right. The police presence makes me feel safe, however. Yeah, police are all around. And tents are all around. Well, look at this. Uh, Whoa, well, let's go inside the cathedral, no? Or go closer. Inside. Let's go closer. Super massive cathedral. You going inside, babe? Yeah. Okay. Take your hat off. I want to say sorry, but I don't want to speak English. Better not. Better not speak English, yeah. Wow. Seriously, special cathedral, no? I'm wondering what the cathedral, cathedral is called. Because Not sure. Sao Paulo means Saint Paul. Right. Right? Right. Maybe Saint Paul's Cathedral, I'm not sure. I will say, uh, seriously spectacular inside with those concrete columns going all the way up. Well, it's really something. There you have it, guys. Okay, let's go try to find some lunch. Oh, I wonder if there's any interesting items on the menu at McDonald's. It's got to be a, a, a rice and beans, maybe. No, it looks pretty standard. Cheeseburger, yeah. chicken burger, fries, chicken McNuggets, McFlurry, and right across from McDonald's. It's a nice little area here. With some nice electronic stores. And look at this. This is very inviting, no? Beautiful temperature. Smells like food because there's restaurants around. Smells good, right? Smells perfect. Wanna go? Let's go. Smells good. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. I can smell it from here, so I think it looks maybe nice. Oh, so this is a clever idea. You fill your own plate, and then uh, you weigh the whole plate at the end, I think. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Oh, look at this. Looks nice, no? Yeah. Alright, so we thought it was 19 real each plate. It turns out I think it was 19 for both. Oh. Because total price, 47 real for two meals, a beer, and a drink. Uh, really nice price. Yeah. So we thought it was the type where we would weigh the plate because yesterday, our first meal in Brazil, we actually weighed our plate. That's right. And I think this is a pretty common thing in Brazil. And it's funny that yesterday's food cost a lot more than today. But today was much better, I think. I think so. Full of like working class construction workers and stuff. Relatively affordable food, but really nice. I think, I think so. we found our new local uh, diner. Very oh, and also good. yesterday we got a SIM card. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty good price, 60 real for 10 gigabytes and unlimited social media, which is pretty good for us. I think so. So pretty happy with that. Yeah. And there you have it, guys. This is All our first right. day in Brazil. Look at the sun. sun. Now, some questions for you guys. If you guys know what we can do here, some good recommendations for things to do, we really appreciate it. I would like to know the local beer to drink. 
-hmm. I've been drinking Skoll, which is only okay, but some nice local beer would be good. And uh, maybe a couple of football teams that would be good to watch. Let us know if you guys have some recommendations because we are willing to learn and uh, hopefully doing okay, staying safe and exploring Brazil. Pretty excited. Pretty excited. Just to repeat, we are, I am so excited. My excitement is here and my nervousness is here. <laughs> so my excitement is outweighing my nervousness. Okay, let's go. So I mean, it's said, pretty safe. Look at this. People are walking around. Yeah. Come on. I mean, the sun is shining and it feels kind of great. All right. There you have it. So I think it's all good. Thanks for watching our video, guys. And our next video will be our first impressions. So right. today was more like just the facts, whereas the next video will be our opinions and our thoughts and things we've noticed. Right. Okay. Hopefully we can say something insightful in our next video. Yes. We'll see. Thanks for watching.